So yes, I have this dream to start a one-to-one -one underwear business for women in Africa because I read the statistic, statistic? I read this fact that women, um, it's a luxury, underwear is a luxury in Africa, and if women have underwear, that, that increases their status and it makes them look independent and wealthy and their risk of abuse and rape is lowered and girls can go to school through the month and so it like made me really angry the fact that this was even true the fact that a pair of underwear could be that powerful to a woman's life so um, yeah I just had this started this idea and got really excited about it and haven't stopped getting excited about it okay yeah so it would just be a really simple like Canada based or Victoria based underwear for for women here and you buy a pair of underwear and a pair of underwear is shipped to actually not shipped to I'm hoping to have it made in Uganda and given to um, a school girl there until I just want to see this like have all the primary schools and the middle schools and the high schools just be stocked with underwear for these girls who don't normally have them um, it's, it is really crazy that I'm even thinking about this because I have no business ba background and no sewing background and no, never been to Africa. <laughs> so the fact that this is what I'm stepping into and really excited about is a little strange for me. I've had so many dreams throughout my life that I could have gone after. And I don't really know why this is the dream that I've started stepping towards, but I think like, what really got me is the fact that this, I, c I could not get over this need. And I heard about it and I, it just bugged me that that was a need in the world. And yeah, it makes no sense that I'm going after it, but I, yeah, I really believe that moms um, could give a lot of excuses as to why to not do things and step out of your homes and make a difference in other places. And I, 22, I'm about to have my third kid under two, and I am starting this at the same time, and it sounds crazy to me, of course, but um, I really feel that women are made for this. Women are made for huge capacities for the family, and that capacity isn't just for your family. I like When I was stretched, when I first became a mom of twins, I was like, you're stretched a lot, and then to do nothing with your this new capacity of of helping needs and and patience and love and your your just compassion for for the world almost grows when you have a child, and to see that only be given to your family, I think, is not what God intends. I think that moms, I don't want to make excuses and just say I'm a mom, so. I'm done dreaming and I can't do much else. I really want to, I don't know, live big still and take my kids along with me. 